YouTube. Listen up, man. Before we get to the video, I want to thank everybody who's been viewing the videos, liking the videos, commenting, subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, come on now. You're missing out on some good content. Subscribe to the channel for more. This one right here, y'all are gonna like. It's gonna make y'all soup like me. Come on, let's get to the video. All right, y'all, we're here. And this is the jump shot. This is the one I've come to. Look at that, pretty. It's Mr. Dependable, Mrs. Dependable, whatever you like. This jumper right here, you see the base, it's beautiful. It's fluent, it's not ugly. The top release has just the perfect look to it where you could just see the release, the cue when you're supposed to release it at the top, at the pinnacle. It's just such a good dependable release. I've tested out a lot of bases. I've tested out a lot of top releases. And this right here is just, you can't go wrong. It just, it feels right when you shoot it. Just look at it. It's just pretty. And you just see, like, it helps my fades. It helps off the dribble, just stopping quick and popping. Look at the fade. And it's all because of this top release I use. This top release, the Q, it's just like, look at that quick stop. It's everything. It's so dependable off multiple shots. You can shoot spin jumpers, step backs, standing shots, off the dribble, quick stop. It's all there. And it's because the top release I use, it's just the Q. Like, I can't, look at that. Ooh. I just can tell. I can't stress it enough. It's all, and that, that's what the important part of a jumper is. Now, the base is the green window. So, I urge you to use this base that I'm going to tell you about at the end of the video. I urge you to use this base. Now, the top release is kind of a preference thing. I would recommend using this top release I use. Give it a try and let me know what you think about it. But. You know, the top release is more of a feel. It's not responsible for the green window, it's more of a feel. Changes the timing a little bit, but the green window as a whole stays the same. It's still the same, ease. it's still as easy to green, no matter what the top release you put on, as long as you keep that, you know, that high green window base. But this top release I use, I just like to have like a two motion top. You bend the elbow, you shoot it out, it's real clean. You know, they have some jumpers where you kind of flail your arm and snap it out like a catapult. You know, I don't, I'm not a big fan of those jumpers. Those jumpers, they're cool. Some years they actually work and I've used them before. But I like this two motion jumper with your meter off. You know, it's just reliable. Look at, I, right here. I could just see when the release point. As soon as I see that elbow snap back, I know to release it and it's, and it's just green every time. Like, look at this. Off the fade, like, just so consistent. Look at the shooting percentage, like. I'm not missing. Flex on them. Point at the crowd. Tell them what's up. I am a shooter. Shooter. Bing. But you can tell what I'm saying. When you really look at it, it's just, it's hard to not green because I, I just see that release point. I see the cue when I'm supposed to release the square button and just, it's just money. It's so dependable. Listen, there's all different, like, I'll give you some free game right here. You know, Jump Shot 98, it's slower than this one, but it greens. Side Shot 25 is faster, but it's tough to green. But look at this, though. This, that, those two jumpers aren't this jumper. This jumper right here, look, it even works in competitive pro-am. I'm playing against Fana, a highly regarded 2K League prospect. He's a terrific point guard stage player i'm playing against him oh my goodness look where i'm shooting from that's because i have that release point i'm telling you y'all have to try this base with this top release the combination is just special yeah i'm playing against fana just aqua i'm playing against soup pro-am players and i'm out here dropping 20 plus it's no problem look at i just see the release point bang you can depend on me beautiful jump shot hi right, youtube well, you made it to the end of the video, so I might as well give you the sauce. Come over here. Make sure you get it over to max speed right away. I have that max speed. Jump shot three for the base. 
everybody knows that this is the most reliable base this year this is the new jump shot 98 that we've gotten in the past few years this is the sauce right here this works for every position every position i use my power forward my lock my shooting guard my point guard i use jump shot three it's so dependable you know there's other ones that are pretty solid set shot 25s a very good shot but it's kind of tough to time for most people this one right here is just so dependable it's one fluid motion so base is jump shot three and the top i like to use is let's see yeah right here this one right here jump shot 34 release 34 I like to use base jump shot three release 34 so you see release 34 it's got it's like a two motion upper kind of and that's why I like what my uh upper releases is you see the way the elbow bends and kind of flicks that like you flick the ball out like that it's just a good like visual cue that I get not using meter or nothing like that you know I don't obviously I don't use the meter I don't think many people do much anymore but if you do I'd recommend taking it off using this jumper right here because this elbow right here look at look at the way he shoots the ball out there a little clay thompson to it it's just a good visual cue you kind of see the release point and it's just money man it's just I have not missed a shot in years no but for real this one right here it's the real deal it's just terrific man I mean you could just see the whole video I just had that visual cue to release the ball. It helps on the drifters off of the catch when I'm like leaning. Uh, when I shoot my fadeaway, you know, I, I see the elbow when they release it. My standing shots off the dribble, quick stopping. I see when I'm supposed to release it. And once you've taken a lot of shots with it, it just becomes muscle memory. You don't got to look at anything anymore. But, you know, if you're ever having a cold stretch, you just take a second, look at that elbow, look at the follow through, bang, money. That's all I do. Base, jump shot three, release 34. I don't change release two. I just leave it full speed animation blend zero. Just leave it all the way on release 34. And then you save that sucker right there. I got that number right there. Equip that. And there's no problem. And that's it. That's the sauce. That's what it takes to be money bag on 2K. That's the release. Put it on. It won't fail you. And I'd like to thank everyone for coming to this video. If you stayed to the end and got the soup, you are welcome. Please like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. I'm going to keep pushing content. Just keep showing love and the content is going to keep coming out for y'all. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all.